Hello, in this tutorial I want to demonstrate the new material editor of Model Converter X. This new material editor is a combination of the old one, the mass texture editor and the Zorco minimizer. And they have been combined to make it even easier to manipulate the, model, uh, the materials and textures of your model. If you look here at the toolbar, you see there's only one button now and that brings up the new material editor. Uh, there are four tabs in this editor for the properties, the textures, the draw calls and for optimizations. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview of all of these features in this tutorial. So the properties tab is uh, a bit like the old material editor. You can click on the material and you get all the properties and you can manipulate them. Uh, there's an option here to highlight the selected material in the preview and then it will show with a red color. Uh, and there's a button to remove a specific material and that will also remove all the polygons using that material. So that's all like the old material editor. Uh, what's different is that in the new material editor uh, you can select two materials at once and you'll see like one, two, if I select both then both get highlighted in the preview and this allows me to update the specific properties on both materials at the same time so that can be quite convenient uh, here on the right you see a drop down box where you can have material templates set default transparent, set default opaque that's like the old buttons we had to um, set a material correctly for transparency or for non-transparent textures and you see here new template 1 uh, that's a custom defined template and you can do that using the material template editor so that allows you to make your own uh, sort of recipes for your material and you can for example use this to use the same settings for uh, specular or uh, environmental textures or uh, that kind of yeah, standard things or maybe to have a, a chrome like uh, reflection metal like material um, so it allows you to set, uh, set those settings more quickly and to show you how it works let me update this template and I'll use, call it reflection rain and we'll set some of the uh, settings related to the uh, precipitation and the specular effect there so uh, I want this material to have a uh, specular effect only when it's raining and I will add an offset of 30 seconds to it so this is now my uh, my template for the reflection rain so if I now select my roof and I select this template and I will scroll down you can see that it's all false now once I press the apply button you'll see it gets the values I assigned in that template so that's for the properties tab on the textures tab you get an overview of all the different textures that are used in the material uh, you can see their name in the model you can see the full path uh, that has been loaded by model converter X, the size of the texture and the format when you want to make any changes here it's important that you set a folder here and that's the folder where new textures or updated textures will be written by the tool uh, with update textures I can update all of the textures in my model at once and there are a few options you can make sure the size is a power of 2 you can add the material name as a prefix uh, for example for SketchUp models that's quite useful because they often have like textures uh, like texture 1, texture 2, texture 3 so that can lead to conflicts and there's an option if you want to overwrite existing textures or not so if I press this update textures now and here if the format is set to DDS then you will see that all of my textures are converted to DDS files and reloaded again if you would like to update only one of the textures uh, you can also right click on that entry in the textures list and you have options to resize to convert to a specific format or to rename the texture then the next step is for draw calls uh, this step is a little bit empty but it just has a button now to minimize draw calls and it works the same as the old draw call minimizer with the default settings and once it's done I'll press the button it will show you that it has minimized this now from 3 to 2 draw calls I have uh, a number of items on my wish list or feature list for the tool to improve uh, the draw call minimizer 
so to help you pick the right texture size and also to show you in advance how much uh, benefit, how many work holes can be reduced. Uh, that's something I'm still working on. Uh, I didn't want to wait with releasing this new material editor till that's finished, but hopefully in a few weeks uh, those improvements will be found here on this tab. And also for the work hole minimizer, it's important that you define the output folder because that will be used uh, to write the new textures. And then the last tab is optimize and it can be used to find differences between materials. Um, I'll load another model so that I can demonstrate it a little bit better. Let me move the editor a little bit. Here you see just a very simple uh, object. It has nine cubes and three of them have a plain color applied and the other six have a texture. And you might see that this middle box is slightly different shaded. So there are some small differences in the materials applied to these boxes. And if I now move to these uh, optimized tab, you see the names, uh, name of the texture, so it's the name of the material. And let me first go to the colored ones. For example, now I click on this uh, lower one. You see there's a difference in the specular color between the red material and the green material. So the red one is this one and the green one is that one because they are highlighted in the preview as well. And you see one has an almost white specular and the other one is a uh, darker specular so it will have less specular reflection. Now with this optimized tool I can right click on this difference and I can say I want to use the left value, so the more darker specular color for both of them. And it's refreshed now, and you see there are still some differences between uh, materials all having the same color, but assume vertical normal and the specular color is still different. And now the red material are these outside two, and the green material is that box. So I can once again say I want to use the left values, the red values, and now all of these three have the same material settings. So with this option, I can spot tiny differences between materials. It can be my mistake, for example, because you set a specular color slightly different. Uh, and this tool allows you to spot them and then correct them by assigning the same values to all of the materials. So that's a quick overview of the new material editor. I hope you like the new functionality. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please post them in the forum.